Polo Batrider. He's almost level five. I know he's gonna see a little Sumail take up that Invis rune and they might make a move he's on dead. him. Here comes Universe. Where the hell did he come from? Steps forward, Battle Hunger is gonna be out, and RTK is gonna go down. First blood goes to Universe. Game is salvaged, it's just like that. Well, they might lose AUI, but they don't really care. He's expendable at this point. He's dead. Telkin is back. He does get the Riptide off, so he does a little bit of damage before it goes down, but. I mean, AUI is now, for all intents and purposes, in offlane Naga Siren to, the, to get rune control, and any time that... Well, actually, Sumail needs to be careful. And, uh, oh, yeah. big telekinesis ice ice comes in. What a rotation. They are really just going to every lane that Sumail is in and dealing with him there. Like, they're, they're putting the kid in his place. That's what it feels like right now. It's just kind of taking different lanes to work with. Oh god, they are swarming towards Universe, and he goes right to ROTK, but that is right into the bottom of the big gods. They're gonna come right nice, nice. He got the, uh, he got the telekinesis call. He did it, dude. He didn't have to use a lasso. Perfect initiation. <laughs> Proves us wrong. Very... And Sumail's gonna get chased down. He's actually looking for the courier, but oh my god, that turn radius though. He can't can't even move. The last one goes the last move from RTK. He got a bit too greedy there. He's gonna get hexed up two down. Tier three tower is done. PPD getting Dova. Buyback from Smell. Again, no buyback from fear. Big jump in from Universe. Pops the blade now, but he can't get the proc coming out. He will get Lana. No, they actually push him back. Smell's gonna die back, but they will get two jams in from Universe. The two calling blades double kill for burning. Three for three trade. They, they're Radiant trying their best to defend. They actually glyph. I They have Aegis, though, on Xiao Aid. By that coming in from PPD, though, he's going to walk in. He does not have Finger of Death. They get the Radiant's melee racks, they're going to back up. Has fallen. Big hit. Big hit to the EG base. They don't want him to get away with that. Xiao Aid still holds the Aegis. They want to at least take care of that one. Universe, dunk him. Oh, what? Oh, Mech, it didn't though. work. The mech saved him at the last second. The threshold was too high. They still end up dropping him. The Aegis will be procced. But I think with that, they walk away. At least taking away that extra life. They do lose the melee racks. So a big hit. Like Berserker's call is going to go. All right, here's the fight. Jump in, Gaze, burning. The song is going to cancel, it looks like, for now. And Jowie will walk back, BKB'd. It looks like it's only temporary. Big God are going to still continue to push on in, though ROTK's fire flight could come to a close. Obviously not going to be able to work with the lasso here. They slowly just pelt from the low ground, burning with that Eagle Song. Extra boost of damage, and really Evil Genius is kind of questioning what their next motive is. Fear tried to sneak forward, pulled back, goes in again. Pounce is not going to catch, but... Oh, it did catch, but now he gets forced away from home. Universe moves in and tries to get the burst on the ship. Oh, Xiao Wei's finger. Call. First, and there's the Requiem. And unfortunately, that's going to be a big turnaround for EG. And now burning, trots on four, back behind Sumail, gets the last of off on the land, but now he gets kidnapped again. ROTK constantly grabs him up with the lasso. That time off cooldown and at the ready. Fear even pulling out the buyback for this one. Big God walk away with big winnings again. They don't get... They have a lot of damage, and they're going to song up, and this could be a good fight for them. Universe is going to get into a really good position here, but he might not be able to do much. The Berserker's call is going to go. They're going to get the Earthspike. Shall wait. He is going to fall, but the Requiem does go and does so much damage. Fear won't have buyback if he goes down. They're going to lose three heroes. Burning with the split shot decimates everybody. The support is placed down. Fear is going to go down. He is dead for 90 seconds. Take Roshan if you want, but you can just push down mid, and I think that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to try to finish this game off. Oh, man. Oh, man. The Requiem also just so much AoE burst. It makes fun. You want discipline? I'm going to pour some spicy salsa all over this crap and really go to town. You know what? They just This is what they wanted to do. They wanted to act like they were being disciplined, go by a rapier, get Aegis, pick, a date, pick up the rapier, head down bottom, and finish the game off. It's like, okay. It now, but what about the defense of EG? They got to throw something together. Oh, no. Preemptive call. Fear gets scouted, and they go right back to the base, but they can't get away. Oh, a kidnapping. Universe is going to get pulled right back into the mix, and Burning unloads his new pretty rapier. The right click comes through the blade mail. Not going to be too useful as the stun was there. And here we go. No one gets dropped, thankfully, for EG, but this looks to be the last high ground defense. They saw that rapier and they backed the hell up. They were like, no, Radiant's no, no, we're not fighting into that, gone. boys. Let's get out of here. They could kill Burning still. He does have the Aegis, so they have a couple of free shots this tower. Right? Song's gonna go. They'll clean up the wards quickly. 
And uh, Fear's gonna walk in. He's gonna, they're thinking about going. Ice actually just wins the high ground. They blow up the Rubik. They're gonna blow up Xiao Wei as well. He might not be able to get this cheese off. He gets bashed. He's gonna fall, but Burning is gonna go to work. He gets two kills immediately. PPD is gonna fall as well. Fear's gonna get right clicked. He's trying to get up, but the Scotty slow is too real. And he is stuck with the rock in a hard place. And that is GG. Well, the old boys, they do it again. Burning. He played a miraculous Naga Siren. Xiaoi, not too shabby himself. And the legends, they come out on top. Beautiful work there. Big God get it done with a, a more standard kind of a lineup. Evil Geniuses, it felt like they were trying something out. You know, I feel like they led in with going with the initial plan of that support Naga, and then they gave it a go. They got so close, just 10 health before getting that first blood.